Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and I'm just on the Madden 12 here, and I want to talk about a couple of different things. Uh, what brought on this topical commentary is just uh, the whole, um, what's his name? The shots guy. I forget his name now. What was it? Now I gotta, now I gotta look this up. Well, how did I forget this? Oh, let's go to Victionary's Twitter. Let's see here. Oh, drastic shots. There we go. God, I can't believe I forgot that. But uh, these are just some of the sick cards. Uh, those are the painted cards that I was talking about in my video earlier. You can see them. They're pretty cool. Um, the Marshawn Lynch is probably my like most prized card because I worked so hard to get that collection done to get him. Um, but these are just some of the cool cards. Well, I'll show some of the ghosts and whatnot. And then I'm going to play a little bit of this while I talk about it. But I just remember the days on this that... Uh, Back in these days, you were able to, you know, give people cards, and they'd give them back, and they'd be willing to, you know, trade with you. They'd be kind enough to, uh, you know, if you help someone out complete a collection, they were nice enough to help you back. Or, you know, you could give them a card to complete a collection, and they'd pay you back or even give you a little bit extra. And just different things like that. You know, you got to enjoy playing uh, with, with different people, with friends. You could trade. There weren't any scammers, real. You know, obviously there were scammers, but you know there weren't any like um, real. There wasn't a major issue like it is now. And you know, you had you had a bunch of different people um, that were big, not through YouTube, but were just you know fr nice and friendly, and people knew them and they helped them out and different stuff like that. And uh, I just remember a couple of the people that helped me out a lot. Uh, Tmos805 was really the first guy who really helped me out. He he helped me finish up fantasy collections. He helped me finish up um, a bunch of different stuff like that. This team isn't what it was. I traded a lot of my stuff on this game when Man 13 was out for Man 13 stuff or Microsoft points and stuff like that. Um, it's not nearly what it used to be, but we'll play a fun game against the CPU. Uh, let's play the Giants. I think they're the best team in the game at a 91. Yep, there they are. All right, we'll play them. Uh, but Team Oz805... He helped me finish fantasy collections. He helped me finish. Um, let's see here. He helped me finish the coaches and stadiums, and he he really helped me get a start on this. Um, I pretty much owe him my YouTube and all of that stuff to him because if it wasn't for him, I might have never really gotten into Ultimate Team. I may have never started playing it really as much as I did, and all that different stuff. So I really owe a lot of my Ultimate Team uh, to him. Um, and another guy that I really want to. Uh, thank for all the past help is uh, Radioactive Waste. He was really the first person off of YouTube that, or from YouTube that messaged me, not really wanting to get free handouts or anything like that. He was really the first person that just wanted to genuinely um, play, and uh, we played COD. We still play every once in a while. Uh, I don't play as much as I used to with a lot of my friends because I have college, so uh, it doesn't happen as much as it used to, but he was one of the, the good people, one of my good friends that helped me out, and um, we still help each other out. He gave me the last four uh, turkey collectibles I need for needed for a cornucopia pack, so that was nice. Um, but those were two of the really there. You know, there's obviously a lot more. Like CR Buke helped me uh, out in the beginning by having me on the Ultimate Team Roundtable and uh, just different stuff like that and um, all those different people. Now you've got people like Drastic Shots stealing people's videos, stealing their thumbnails. Like who steals thumbnails? Like. Like, who's got time to steal thumbnails? Like, I want to know that. That's my question. Who's got time to steal thumbnails? Like, I feel like you could make one in the time it takes you to steal one, so I don't really get that. Um, and, you know, he has 3,000 subs. You know, some of it is his content, but a lot of the openings, the pack openings, aren't his. He stole other people's uh, pack openings. Like, he pro I think he promised uh, pack openings at a certain amount of likes. And, you know, you get them, and it's pretty expensive to do flashbacks and throwback pack openings. And so he would steal someone else's and upload it as his and put his overlay and all that different stuff on it. Um, I mean, it's hard to be – it's hard to grow on YouTube. You know, I've been doing this for, like, four years. I've got 6,700 subs. I know I don't put out the best content. I obviously know there's better content creators. Um, Wiza, Texas Boy – uh, Victionary. They're all better content creators. Their product looks nicer than mine. 
but I try to bring you guys daily videos, and I'm just thankful for all the guys that come out and watch my videos, whether it's whether I get 4,000 views on a video or I get 20. Um, I'm just happy people take the time out of their day to watch my stuff. Um, and, it, and I like how people, you know, they wait for my content and they, uh, they're they willing. Look at Chris Johnson breaking that tackle. But um, I'm happy people enjoy my content. Uh, when I started doing this, I never thought I'd make a cent off of it. I was just doing it for fun. Um, I still don't really make anything. Like the notion that I make a bunch of money, like some people – there's some people that think I make like an obscene amount of money and I really don't make any it barely pays for like one bundle so uh that's just obscene but to really make anything on YouTube you've got to have a lot of subs um which I don't um but I don't care I started this all for fun I still do it for fun um if I did this to make money then I'm not doing very well I'm just I just do it to um, make people's, um, give them something to watch each day, give them content that they can enjoy and all that different stuff. And I really owe it to some of the guys that early on in my YouTube that were kind enough, guys that were way bigger than me that, uh, took time out of their day or time to help me, give me pointers, give me tips how to make my videos better. Um, and I, I, I really want to really, I don't know why this is like a deep emotional commentary but it's really just about the state of like the community and how much better it was back in the day not that any of the new guys that just started playing are bad i'm just saying um there's a lot more toxic people in the community that do negative things and fake giveaways and fake videos and, you know all that different stuff and i just you know i just who is number 13 i gotta figure this out who who was it just froze. All right, no, it didn't freeze. I don't know what's ha what 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 happened. All right, here we go. I was like, what's going on? All right, I gotta see who um, who was number thirteen on their team all the way back in the day. Number thirteen. Oh, Ramsey's Barden. All right, all right, all right. But well, now back. But um, no, most of uh, most of the guys in the I don't know why this is taking so long to load, but most of the guys in the community you know are upstanding. They're good guys. They're nice. Uh, all right, that doesn't matter. All right, whatever. Um, but they're nice guys. They're they're helpful. They help people out. They they do all that different stuff. And uh, we we all try to do our best to help people out. Respond. To, I try to respond to most of my comments on my videos. Some people you can't respond to because they have their thing set up where you can't respond. And then um, I just try to help people out, give them tips, help them out as much as I can. I try to respond to everybody who tweets me and everybody who comments in my comment section. And, you know, there's some people that think now that they can just start up a YouTube channel and be making making bank in, like, the first month, and then they give up. And if you just stick your nose to the grindstone and you, you do your best work, I would honestly say those kids in high school or out of college have the best chance to really have a successful YouTube channel because they can invest more time. Um, or those kids that don't have a job, stuff like that. That That's when you really can get – you can really put out um, the greatest content, the best content, and uh, really enjoy what you're putting out. But I don't, I don't know. I just – let me know what your guys' opinion are. Um, not only was this my favorite mutt just to play because it was more enjoyable. You could open up packs. You could do a bunch of different things. You could um, spend time – uh, just just really chilling on the game, not even doing a whole lot, and enjoy it. Uh, I remember Mutt 13 getting up early in the morning to open up packs for the uh, the legends. Now it's like oh legends, like I don't I'm not like I don't care that much about legends anymore. Like it's not like something or like legends or whatever they would release. The promos are gradually getting worse. Check out my video later on today though. I'm gonna be talking about the Madden 15 promo, the Christmas promo. They announced it uh, tonight, but these videos won't go up till tomorrow. So, um, it's 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 an interesting promo. I get there, you know, they can't make it as easy to do it or, or like get coins as it was back in the day because then they don't make money. I totally get that, but these promos are going downhill. They're going down fast. I mean. Our pro we're, we're not even. I don't even know if we can call pr these promos anymore because they happen every year, so they're not really a promo. They really don't have any special promos anymore because these things happen every year. I don't know if you can call that a promo, <laughs> but uh, there's not. Yeah, not really. Well, kind of. I guess they are, but I'll go over them, and it should be it should be fun and interesting. 
Um, but let me know what you guys think of Drastic Shots and whether you think... Uh, I, I think his YouTube, uh, at least with that channel, is over. I mean, that's something that can ruin you forever. Like, that's something that that people that people aren't soon to forgive you for stealing their content. I have I doubt he stole my content, um, but I don't even know. He del he supposedly has deleted everything that was stolen. I, I, he wasn't one of the YouTubers I watch, so I don't know. Um, I know I know he stole Viction. He stole Victionary's. Thumb I forget. I don't know. He stole something from Victionary. I don't even know what he stole. Um, but I know what he stole. He stole videos and thumbnails, but I'm not exactly sure from all who he stole from. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys know my opinion and um, just kind of reminisce about the old days since I made that video. I was going to make this video reminiscing about the old days, um, whether or not Drastic Shots, whether or not I found this out about Drastic Shots or not. But um, also, I just wanted to let you guys know that I remember when um, when the community was more of a community. Now it's just different groups on Twitter, you know. You have, like, I, I get, like, Trusted Train Mutt and all those guys. Try, they, they, they're trying to do a good thing, but it, it really doesn't make any it really doesn't make any sense. Like, just because you're not followed by Trusted Train Mutt or you're not a certain level on different sites and stuff like that, that doesn't mean you're a good trader. Like, I feel like I'm legit. Like, I'm not going to scam anybody. Like, they're virtual cards. Like, I really could care less. Like, if I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to ruin someone's day by scamming them for virtual cards i wouldn't even like do it for real cards like like that's not who i am but just because i'm not followed by trusted trade mutt and i'm not like a certain level on sites and stuff like that that, me that means i'm not a legit trader like back in the day we didn't need those sites so i don't know um i'm gonna finish out the half year and then i'll cut i'm not gonna play the whole game but um i just I just, I, I remember when people would get together and they would help each other complete collections, they'd help each other complete different stuff like that, and it was just, it was just completely different. Um, it's progressively gotten worse. Uh, MUT13 is kind of when scamming kind of got to an all-new high, um, and then uh, MUT25, you know, it was kind of, it was pretty bad in MUT25, and then MUT15, you've got people betting coins they don't have you've got people betting cards they don't have you got people betting this and you got them betting that on different crap and they don't have it so when they lose they don't pay up and you've got people i mean back in the day you could lend someone like third like 300k and they pay they like 90 percent of the people would be man enough to pay you back um and own up if they lost and pay you like i'm not even dealing with wagers unless I know for a thousand percent sure that you're legit because I don't even I'm not even going to deal with with that um, because I would pay up and then to find out like even if I would have won that person wouldn't have paid up like that just sucks so I'm not even going to deal with that but it's just a whole different community you know it's like most communities they start out small like like COD 4 type stuff and then they grow into what Call of Duty is now you've got people going in the lobbies and just screaming obscenities at you for no reason um and it's just a whole different it's just stuff changes like i get that like i'm i'm not stupid like i i, I always like you always know that nothing's gonna ever be as good as like the original form um i didn't play much of madden 11's ultimate team but it was it was enjoyable and you know we've progressively promos you know everything has gotten a little bit worse every year um a little bit less you know, they've kind of dumbed it down each year, so, you know, your expectations are kind of equal to the last year, so it's not as big of a letdown, but if you compare some of the promos that we got in Madden 12, or that we got in Madden 13, and compare them equal to Madden 15's promos, I mean, come on now. I mean, they are awful. I'm going to call timeouts, so I got to punt this ball, so I can at least do something here. Um... But I don't know. I'm not trying to say this like as in new people who didn't play back in 12 or 13 aren't legit and aren't cool. And I just block. They just blocked the punt. I've never seen a. <clears throat> I've never seen a blocked punt before. Well, that's special. I had never seen a. You know what? Honestly, I'd never seen a blocked punt in Madden before. Like I didn't even know if, if it was possible. 
And wow, the Giants punter can't get the ball downfield. Bob Sanders is going to get it like way up. We're scoring here. But not saying any of you guys that are new aren't legit. Like, I, I, my, myself, I tend to trust everybody. Like, I, I'm going to... Like, if you you are... Um, um, if, if someone wants to play away, like, I'm not going to do it anymore. I don't do it anymore because there's just too much crap. But if most people, oh, T.O. Oh, God, the corner came out of nowhere. But um, I, I I assume that everybody's legit. I don't I don't get any, I'm not, like, I'm not a pessimist. Like, I don't assume everybody's not legit. I like to think that everybody is. And, you know, I think the best of everybody, but... You know, obviously that's not true, and I just got picked by Prince of Mukamara because I didn't throw an out. I just pressed B. Oh well, that's my bad. But that's just my opinion. Uh, it's not necessarily the right a right p opinion, but it's my p my opinion. And so I hope you all, you know, enjoyed the the video. Um, I'm just happy all of you, you know, checked out the video. And if you enjoyed it, make sure and drop it a like. Um, you know, leave a comment, let me know what you guys think, and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you all in my next video. Peace out, guys.